Alright guys, this is going to be a new tutorial and a kind of a quick one. Now this is something that I haven't done in a while and some people have asked for some tutorials on various things, possibly tutorials from other crew members on certain things that they're either good at or that interest them. So it could be something as simple as maybe a crew member wants to show you a quick way to make some object in Minecraft or it could be some other program that they're, they're fluent at. But whatever it might be, uh, you know, hopefully we'll start doing a few tutorials here and there. Now this is going to be a short one, but it's going to be using a program called Craft Studio, which a prog is a program I discovered a few months ago or so. And uh, what is Craft Studio? Well, it's a game to make games. Now I don't really want to make a game, so we're not really going to explore that part of it. But this also lets you make interactive movies, and I'm very interested in that. You know, this isn't going to let you make stuff of the level of um, Captain Sparkles with his music videos because he's using high-end software. Um, this isn't going to be like even using the free Blender, which can let you do some amazing things also. Uh, but what's kind of cool about Craft Studio is it's a multiplayer platform to let you create games and interactive movies. Now what that really means is it's a lot like Minecraft in a server. When you have Craft Studio running, it starts a server. If you open up your firewall or you use something like Hamachi, your friends can come onto the Craft Studio server with you and help you build your movie, help you build your game. So that's really cool. Now we're going to show, uh, the stuff I'm going to show you uses the free version, which you can get by clicking download. You will have to create an account, which is free also. But I highly encourage you to buy the game and buy the software if you really enjoy it. Plus you get more features. We're not going to get a lot of in-depth into what Craft Studio can do because it can do so much. We're more concerned about taking, in the sample for this video, a Minecraft skin and putting it onto a character that we could then start to pose and things. So in a future video, maybe make um, a little movie or maybe at least a still photo of all the crew posing. I would love to see you guys take this software and bring in crew characters and put them in poses and make like a still shot, say, for Don't Stop or for um, Darkness Falls 2 or The Mole, stuff like that. It would be really cool give you guys a chance to uh, show us how creative you can be plus you know if we like it we'll we'll put it in one of our videos and of course we'll give you credit so let's assume that we've downloaded we've created our account and we've installed craft studio here's what you're gonna see when you run it all right so we have the software up now what we're gonna do as you can see you know, over here we've got projects. Now I've created my own project. These other ones are samples. Some of these are games and such, but I've created my first movie, which is really not a movie yet, but you can see I've created models and these are all of the crew members. And just for example, let's look at comma. And you can see as we turn around here, comma has been created. Now, how would we go about creating a character? So let's, we're gonna create Gizmo again. I've already created him, but let's do another one. And I wanna use his skin because it has something that not all skins have, but you do have to take it into account when you're working on um, skins. So the first thing is we need the skin for the character we wanna create. So you could go to a website like Miners Need Shoes, um, and you could type in Gizmo Dude and hit this and, and download it. Now I'm running my Chrome browser in a uh, incognito window, and scripts don't work when I'm in incognito, so uh, I can't actually download through here. But this is one way to do it. But I'll tell you the truth: the method I like to use, because it pretty much always works if Minecraft servers are working, is I just like to go to Minecraft.net/skin/slash and then the name of the person, their Minecraft account, .png got to make sure you get the capitals right if they have capital letters in their name. So let's go ahead and say we type that in. We hit enter and you can see here it downloads Gizmo Dude Skin. Now I've already downloaded all the crew skins and you can see them here. So let's see how we take Gizmo Skin and create it in Craft Studio. So let's create a new model. And we'll call it Gizmo. 
All right, so here he is. Now we have nothing yet, and we have no um, skin to wrap around our character. So let's go ahead and go over to paint. All right, so let's put gizmo skin. Now, the way to do this is you have to be in the paint tab, and you have to paste it into here. So how do we get this skin pasted into here? I'm going to right click on Gizmo Dude here and open it with paint. So you can see here's Gizmo Skin. I'm going to hit Control A, which highlights the whole thing, and I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to, inside this window, hit Control V. And there you can see Gizmo Skin. Now we have to get it inside this square. And you want to make sure you get it in perfect. So I'm going to scroll inward with my scroll wheel and you can see I'm off a little bit. But now we've got it in. Alright, so now we have Gizmo Skin. But we have to start creating our model. And we have to start wrapping this texture around it. So let's create a new block and let's call this head because this will be Gizmo's head. All right, so now we have Gizmo's head. Now we have to go over to the build phase now. We don't want to get out of the paint phase. And what we want to do is we want to go over here to the block size and we need to set this to the proper size. Now in Minecraft, a head would be eight by eight by eight. All right, so we have the head set up. Now, one of the things you can see I screwed up is I didn't bring Gizmo Skin in. I think I had to hit Enter. So on this screen, I clicked away from it so it's no longer highlighted. And now we have Gizmo's uh, skin locked in. So now we go back to Build. Now that we're here, you can see these little purple boxes. These are the blocks that are 8 by 8 by 8 that would form the square that is Gizmo's head. So we have to drag them up here. And once we've done that, if we scroll over here, scroll in to zoom, you can see we have Gizmo's head. All right, so now we've got his head. Now we're going to skip the hat for now because that's the thing that's different about Gizmo's character. A lot of characters don't have like something like hats or horns or different things on their head uh, that once you've done the head, you've got everything. My character, for instance, um, has a hat, but some characters don't. So let's just skip that for now. Let's do, let's do the body. All right, so now we have our body. Now, in Minecraft, we go we have to know the size of a body. So I'm telling you guys these sizes so you'll know ahead of time. But a body is 8 by 12 by 4. Okay, so now we've selected, we have to find the body here on the thing. And right there, we have the body. Just so you know, this is the hat up here. These are the arms and these are the feet. So now we got to position the uh, body. So we want to go back over here to the position tab. We don't want to be here on the sides because if you start trying to move it, you're going to resize the, the uh, body so it's not 8 by 12 by 4. So we come over here, we click on position. And there you can see we slid it in place. So now we have Gizmo's body. Now the next thing he needs is his arms. Uh, one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over. Uh, you can actually interlink body parts. So like if you wanted to like make arms and elbows and wrists, you could kind of like have, have a hierarchy. We're not gonna worry about that for the sake of this tutorial. So let's do uh, one of the arms. So we're going to call this one right arm or rarm. We're going to go back to the block size and the size of an arm is four by 12 by four. All 
All right, so now we have our arm. So now we have our arm, so let's go over here and select the arm part. And there we go. We're going to go back to position. We slide the arm over. And there you see we have Gizmo's arm. Now, little trick to get the left arm. We don't have to go through all this work because the arm is actually mirrored. So if we select our right arm and come up here and say duplicate, we'll call this left arm. And we're going to mirror it along the X axis. Boom. Now we have his left arm. All right, so now you probably get the idea how we're going to do the legs. We're going to create another block. Call it right leg. We're going to switch over to our size. Same size as the arms. Then we're going to come over here, select the legs. They're selected. We're going to go ahead and position them. Go back to position. Alright, so there's our first leg. And if you didn't figure it out, we're going to click here. On the right leg, we're going to duplicate. Call it left leg and mirror it along the X. And there we have pretty much Gizmo's character. Now, as I said, he has a slight thing about his character. It wears a hat. And that hat is in this section. Some characters have nothing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another block. We're going to call this hat. Now, you may call this something else. Um, because, like a character like Minotaur, he's not actually wearing a hat. You know, he has horns. So some characters use this area for different things. Now we're going to set the size to 8x8x8, eight by eight by eight, just like the head. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and select the hat. So now you can see we have the hat. Now we have a couple problems with this. First off, when you copy and paste, the transparent area, this white area, is uh, showing up as white. So we're not seeing Gizmo's face. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here. We're going to go to Paint. We're going to select Regions. We're going to select that region, and I'm going to hit the Delete key. We're going to delete that. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to delete all of this white spot. So now we can see Gizmo's face. We've made, gotten rid of all the parts that aren't transparent. Now there might be an easier way to paste this in and keep the transparency, but it never seems to work for me. So, But it, that was easy enough because these are all square areas. Now one of the problems though, is if you look at this, the hat really doesn't stick out like it should. If we go over to my other Gizmo character that I created, here you can see the way it should look. So what we want to do to get the hat to look right is we want to actually stretch it. So we're going to click on the stretch tab and we're going to change this from a one-to-one -one stretch to a 1.2 on all three axes. And once we've done that, you can see we have our character. So you can see how easy it is to take a Minecraft skin and wrap it onto a character. And as you see, 
I've done that with quite a few of the crew characters. In fact, I've done all the crew. So what we can actually then start to do is we can then take these characters. We could animate them if we wanted to. We could pose them. But that is something for a future video. But hopefully, this uh, gets you started and lets you maybe see some of the things that you can do with Craft Studio. And I hope uh, you guys download it, try it. Like I said, we'd love to see some artwork done by you. Uh, maybe, you know, some of your creative minds could probably come up with some really cool stuff. So, uh, But I highly encourage you to check out Craft Studio. I'll put a link in the description of this video to Craft Studio. Uh, the Minecraft skin, you know, did that download leak, miner with shoes, all that kind of stuff. So um, let me know what you guys would like to see. But in future videos here for Craft Studio Tutorial, I'll start actually trying to pose some of the crew characters in scenes. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you later.